Today we're going to look at the spindle for the bottom drain. Got the uh, lid there with the rubber diffuser. That's where your air will come out of. Got the O-ring. The stem with a 10mm barbed fitting on it for the airline. Got the sump section itself, the flange, four inch inlet, and a one inch direct air feed. The O-ring simply goes on the bottom like that. Stem screws on. And the lid simply slots in the bottom. The gap there, you would normally have an 18mm gap. It's left longer, so it can be cut down. So if you've got a pond with fiberglass and you've insulated it with Kingspan, um, it's, it's still long enough to be able to have the Kingspan running straight over the top of the flange and then the fiberglass can be turned down into it. And that is the spin drift the bottom drain. So a couple of other things you might need. If you want to use the spin drifter with a liner, you'll need a liner flange kit. That simply goes on like so, gets screwed down, and then your liner gets sandwiched between the two, and that, uh, that keeps your liner in place. The other thing is a direct air feed kit. So that's this little bit here. This section generally goes in your filter bay area, and that's where your air pump would connect on. 10mm barb fitting on that end. You've got this little bit here that goes inside the drain itself and that's so you can connect the air line in the bottom. So we just pop that in there now. What you'd normally have is a small piece of 10mm braided air line going from this nipple round to this nipple with a couple of Jubilee clips on and that's how the air gets down to the rubber diffuser.